Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Z 69 Welcome back to another episode of Hold My Beer. Uh, today, we have two replays for you today. Uh, they are both heavy tanks. They are both tier 10. Uh, they are both pretty good games. Now, first up, we have Bishop in the Object 260. Now, this, I think, is currently uh, Hall of Fame, which will get beaten, but obviously it's uh, it's a new tank, so uh, people are not getting massive, massive, like, 9K games uh, just yet. But I'm sure uh, them kind of damage games will come. But Bishop is driving the new tank. It's a, it is a nice tank, but... Uh, but for me, it's 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 not the best of tanks, it, but it's okay. It, it's okay. Uh, it can do the job quite easily when uh, when played correctly. So Bishop is going to just show how good of a tank you can actually make this playing it, playing it right. He is on Winter Malinovka, and he's actually gone to the right side. Now, I love this position. Um, you've got spots on the left, you've got spots on the right, and you've got spots on the middle. Now, now the only thing with this position, if you get caught out, uh, you do get caught out quite quickly, and there is not much place uh, places to go if they do start rushing you. Not like the right side. I mean, he's actually in a really good place uh, position for where the enemies are. Now, this IS-4... He could have absolutely wrecked this object 260, but he decided not to go for him. Uh, and luckily for the 260, his team were there to support him. So now, because of that, IS-4 has gone. He's now got really, really good, crucial shots on the right side, on all these heavies, the IS-8, the Waffle, and he, and he is going to generate some, uh, some bounces. So there goes the IS-8. So it is now a 5 versus 5, but here comes the, uh, the grill. So he's just backing up, gets a nice shot there into the grill. Luckily for him, there is no medium tanks uh, at all. So the chances of getting flanked from the left side was really, really low, which makes the position he was in even better. But now the heavies have not been able to hold their position. And this, uh, the grill, the E100, and all the other tanks are just uh, steamrolling his team. So at the moment, he is on 3.6k. He's going to go for the mouse here. Probably the mouse isn't the best of decisions uh, to go for, best of the tanks to go for, especially when there is a few tanks around him. Obviously, there's a waffle up there that he could potentially go for, but he's still going for that mouse. He's the only tank that he had a shot on at the moment. So while he's on his way running, uh, while he's on his uh, way running, he does get another shot on that mouse. So 4.4k damage now. He black he blocks the uh, blocks a shot from the mouse, and you can see he's trying to run away. He's getting some nice shots in in return. Uh, that was a nasty shot getting taken, and you can see he's not looking at just running completely away. And again, that was a lovely shot on that mouse. So at the minute, it is a two versus five a two versus five uh the e100 there's a couple of big tanks two e100s a grill a waffle there's some massive tanks here and when it's a two versus five i know his other tank is full hit points as well and he's going to take full advantage of that so because he's uh the the light tank is there uh, and they are focusing on him he doesn't need to run away uh like he should have if the the light tank wasn't there but the light tank just as he comes to help the light tank out uh, and get some shots off he is taken out but he does manage to take out one of the e100s and he's still looking at going forward now he's on 5800 damage there's four tanks all around him and he's still not looking at running away now i said on the previous video that the armor profile of the 260 isn't that great but it does come in handy when uh, i mean it it's good when it works and luckily for him it starts working just at the right moment so he is blocked 1700 damage at the minute he's on 6.7k sadly misses that shot on the waffle he needs to take the waffle out there is a full hit point well 1900 hit point e100 he doesn't want to go for them yet he wanted to go for the waffle and now he's trying to run away from the e100 he can get a shot off on this mouse uh, he does get a shot from the mouse sadly he gets the bounce but you can see him trying to get away from the e100 he's now just trying to face hug or side hug this mouse and he needs to get a bounce or he needs the mouse to miss so he's getting really Really, really close. That was, oh, that was lucky. He does manage to get a, uh, 
I mean, he gets rid of the mouse. God knows what this E100 was doing. Absolutely no idea. He should have took him out, but just like the mouse, he's going to get up close to this E100. Uh, they, he is winning on supremacy points, so if he can just hold it, it might be enough. And he gets another crucial bounce, but he does bounce on the E100 uh, as well. So now he just he's just looking at running away. He can beat this guy on DPM, but I mean, the E100 should just be shooting HE. He manages to use the mobility of the tank to get around, and now he's just going to sit in cap B. This E100 should just be going for him god knows why he's backing up he should just be going forward yes you're gonna take a couple of shots but you can take a couple of shots guy like jesus christ and now because of that he has managed to cap base b he's got two supremacy caps and now he's on 950 960 supremacy points and all he has to do is just wait it out and of course that is exactly what he is going to do there is still 1400 hit points from the e100 but when you're only on 100 hit points yourself just being patient and not rushing going for the win is the best option he could have got more damage but he went to go for the win instead so 7.8k a nice one versus five kolobanov uh but again god knows what that e100 was doing but well played uh well played bishop uh, well-deserved win, uh, bounced a few shots, a few errors, but, you know, it all paid off in the end, and you got a well-deserved win. So next up, we have RA2341, and he is driving the E100 in a platoon with the VK72. Now, this is a good platoon matchup um, when you're sort of platooning two super heavies, and especially on mines. Now, first up, he is not even looking at going to the middle. He's looking at going towards the cap side, which straight away i thought okay okay it's not very often you have a battle around this area especially i think maybe they chose to go around here because there was no tds to i mean when you have a td of course most of the time they do go into that td position in in spawn there goes the leopard one within 30 seconds of the of the game so going around this side of the map was probably the best option actually um considering that there is no tds to to, uh, to snipe you so He's going to just sit here for a moment. There are tanks around. Here's the WZ. Uh, he can't, unfortunately, get the uh, quite get the shot off on that WZ. But there is also the T57 that he's going to wait and see if he can get the shot. Uh, at the moment, the T57 not quite in that position he uh, he needs to be. But now the WZ uh, comes around, and that was a nice uh, quick shot against the uh, the WZ here. Now. It, the E75 and him are pretty much isolated around this way, whilst the rest of the team are sort of in the middle. Uh, pretty much these team are all over the place. So what does he do? Does he push forward or does he push toward, uh, back towards his spawn and up the hill? Now, he needs to get shots on these medium and light tanks. The E50 uh, is, is there. He gets a shot off. And the E75 is now gone. So he is on his own around this side of the map. So he has to actually get the hell out of there as soon as possible. God knows what the T62 is doing on his team. God knows what the standard B is doing on his team. Uh, they are literally, they're just all over the place. So it's going to come down to him and his teammate to actually do the work uh, themselves. So you can see, I mean, bro, like, they are, they're annoyed. They're annoyed that the team just hasn't managed to hold this hill. Uh, the heavy tanks and the, and the medium and the light tanks have all managed to get the hill and they need to take care of this E100. So he pushes, the VK pushes, and they do clear him. So now they need to take control of this hill. They need to get these medium tanks gone. And considering that there is no TDs, they should be able to push this uh, the, the hill without getting any sort of big damage done in return but it is now a four versus six can he get a nice shot what a lovely he shot that was into the rear of the wz much needed damage that was the t62 is gone so it's now just him and his platoon mate against six tanks but there are a couple of low hit point tanks he manages to get the stand uh, the the sidewinder there, the uh, down to a one shot, nice, uh, nice shot that was into the uh, into the turret. I think it was. Uh, he's on 4.4k damage now. Uh, the T57 is capping, so he really needs to just reset the cap, uh, just to 
allow more time uh, you don't want the the t57 to sort of cap out in this situation where it could be an easy win and considering the t57 is still trying to cap we already know he's not a fantastic player so we can leave him for a bit and go for these one shot tanks there goes the wz and now it is a two versus four so i, I do hate these kind of situations though where there is it's such an easy win he can easily win this game especially now that the e50 uh, E50M has gone, but you don't want to put pressure on yourself. Like, does he go for these tanks and leave the the T57 that is capping, or is that a big risk? You know, because there's no. It's a slow tank. It is a really slow tank. So what he's going to do now is he's going to leave his teammate. Uh, he has to. Uh, but just as he leaves him, the T-57 actually gets off the base. Maybe because uh, he, the T-57 realised he was coming. Uh, but there goes his teammate and now he's alone against both tanks. Now, he's already on 7k damage. He He's going to ignore the... Uh, the Sheridan. He's going to ignore the Sheridan, which is the right decision. He should, if there's a Sheridan and the T57 heavy, he should be going for the T57 heavy. The T57 could do big damage with all three shells. Now, the the penetration isn't the greatest of the Sheridan. It, yes, it's got the uh, the big reload, uh, but you know it's. It doesn't have that penetration. And if you can get the shot off on the Sheridan, of course, get the shot off on the Sheridan. Uh, but when you're losing your hit points, that you can't you can't afford to ignore both tanks you have to go for at least one of them and you can see he does really want the sheridan uh which if you've got the hit points of course the sheridan is best to go for but when uh, you only have sort of you you have 1500 hit points he is going to lose a bit of hit points here uh he manages to bounce a shot and is he going to bounce the next shot no he's not so he's now only on 700 hit points so in this situation he has to go for the t57 he is on a reload uh because he can take a shot from the sheridan but he can't take a magazine from the t57 so he's done the right choice there and stupidly this uh this Sheridan decides to sort of rush him wasn't able to get around him he has got Amarak damage which is uh, absolutely heartbreaking considering now he's got over a 20 second reload but that was a lovely bounce again the Sheridan if he would have just shot HE at him it would have been enough to clear but his mistake cost him greatly and he does manage to get a very very nice win 2100 block damage he ends on 8400 damage uh, a nice win indeed but he does get lucky the sheridan as i've said the sheridan should be shooting he there with a big gun like that you're gonna at least do sort of two maybe even 300 damage to an e100 in a, in a sort of a, a weak point the bottom plate or something like that uh, but they paid the price and uh, our guy here, RA, just manages to get a lovely win. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I am Midzy69, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.